Hey everyone, Jack with the Crichton Chronicles, back with another iJack AZ 2017 challenge entry. Uh, today's letter is U, and the subject is unpublished, which is what I am. <laughs> which really sucks for, uh, for me because I think one of the, uh, what I've wanted to do pretty much my whole life is to write uh, for a living. Um, Probably, I think most of my work has been pretty much fantasy adventure, um, but I've done a few poetry here and there, a little poetry, a little more modern, um, but still elements of either supernatural um, or fantasy mixed in. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've been writing since high school. I may have been, actually I was actually yeah, when I was a kid, a uh, child, but um, uh, yeah, and I guess technically I was publishing a paper, I think a poem, when I was in like first grade or something, so that's quite a faded memory now, I don't really remember a whole lot, I think it was like a Christmas poem, I think, but yeah, so, but anyhow, um, yeah, I haven't really had any luck with becoming published, and a huge factor uh, in that is over the years dealing with writer's block, which you know some people say is a figment and doesn't exist, but I beg to differ. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had I've had like huge chunks. Like in high school, I had a, a good a good time frame where I was writing a bit, and this was fueled a lot by um, like tabletop gaming like D&D and stuff because you're using your imaginations. I was the uh, DM, GM, uh, Dungeon Master, Game Master or whatever um, and so I would try to create the stories and the adventures that everybody would be going on and the storylines and, and everything so that really fueled the creative mind and and spawn from there and that's where actually one of my I like have in my head like some of it's written down but not enough <laughs> where it's uh I mean it's like a nine it's like a three trilogy um, series so nine books but um and that is kind of like my my main novel series that I've wanted to write for forever and some of that has has come about due to playing the D&D and stuff. It's kind of like I would kind of try to create that world that I was doing and write about it and um, so yeah um, fantasy adventure more you know knights dragons whatever have you and and stuff but probably kind of more Game to Throne-ish I guess it would be considered because I didn't at least I don't. I didn't have like a ton of like the other like where like Tolkien and stuff with the uh, uh, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit and stuff. There's all the different races and uh, elves, dwarves. Da, da, da. I had only kind of like little sprinklings of those, um, at least for a, a decent chunk of my work. Um, which is weird because the D and D was obviously like you know dwarves, halflings, all those different races. So you'd think that would be pretty fairly prominent but um yeah it's not <laughs> um but i had to actually like reasons for that so it exists in there but it just wasn't like in your face prominent all the time right away now i also have other story ideas around that and uh, that have spawned off of that uh nine book series that I have in my head I guess and uh, hopefully I could maintain it into nine books actually but uh, yeah at this point I figure if uh, oh yeah what I was saying is those other kind of like um, uh, those other stories that kind of originated from that storyline all the little offshoots and spin-offs and, and stuff were kind of more a lot more into the more fantasy and like other races, halflings, or, well, not halflings, really, but, uh, half-elves and such like that, so, um, yeah, but I figured if, kind of like I talked about, like, where I, if I didn't have a family by the time I was 30, if I wasn't published by the time I was 30, I was kind of, well, that's probably that, uh, 
there's a little more leniency with writing because it's you can do it any time and you just never know and all that stuff. But yeah, um, being that it is now at this point, um, yeah, I get a little worried about it. But I am contemplating attempting to publish, um, maybe through Amazon self-publishing, and um, so. I just got to get a lot of the ideas that I've had in my head for decades here and get it on paper or computer, or some file, whatever. But um, now that I'm blogging, it's helped a little bit. And like, um, if you follow my Dreams in the Shade of Ink, uh, starting around 2012, I think, maybe 2013, um, I started doing some fiction and just kind of freebasing some different stories completely unattached from uh, that three trilogy series I was talking about but um you know one's more kind of sci-fi adventure so um, probably still considered fancy adventure but um and uh, also through the A to Z last year and this year I've been trying to do flash fiction which is fiction that's roughly like I want to say 500 to 1500 words give or take and um, so I've been writing a lot of that but I still haven't gone back to touch on the like huge project that I want to and that's partially because of just I psych myself out and it's a lot of pressure and it's like this is such a big thing I'd rather start on small so um, I was contemplating doing some of my uh, some flash fiction or just some short stories or something and seeing now I've I don't know um, I don't know how many who are watching have published anything but there's kind of like the psychological like if, if you self publish like through Amazon oh anybody can do that so is it really considered publishing like in your standards and your criteria as to what you feel or do you need to do the publishing house and to be honest, he, another part of being unpublished and playing a part into my writer's block would actually be I've read a lot of books about trying to publish and how to publish and where to publish and et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of those kind of like scare me where like is it going through the traditional publishing houses, it sounds like you have to kind of give up a lot of your if not the rights to say the character and the content they create which is something that I don't like the idea of hence why I eventually did a Squarespace and now I'm like it's all under my I, I own everything and so so all my written stuff's on there but um, for my fiction and but the thing is is they with a with a publishing house a traditional means it sounds like they can kind of like dictate what you write Oh, you have to change things. You'll have to, you know, almost sometimes completely rework what you've written because this character would be better as a minor. This character would be better as a major. And, oh, this shouldn't be their purpose for doing what they're doing. You know, whatever is selling basically sounds like that's like what would be dictated as to what they would want your novels to encompass. And then there's the issue I've read that like after doing that and going through that process there's still that entire process of getting it published marketing doing all that and then all of a sudden what was popular and hot and trendy at the time is no longer so you've missed that window of opportunity so it's still like a gamble plus you're kind of like changing your work from what you wanted it to be which i don't i don't know that's something that's a whole other issue the ability to let go of it and just be like okay well I've done this now they can do what they want kind of like if they ever made a movie of anything that you'd ever write or create like I still think that I would be I'd get <laughs> I'd have issues with that but it would have to be like this process of like okay I've done this got paid I guess and now they can do whatever they want with it but my reasoning for writing all I would like to be able to make a living off it and like do that and support myself and family is not to just make money but it's to create something that people enjoy and want to ingest and quite possibly who knows might be touched by it and inspired by it and so 
that's where I would have issues where if I if I've created something and then I have to relinquish control of how it's actually eventually produced and comes out and let out into the universe per se then and it's completely butchered to my original intent and meaning and, and everything I would I don't know it, I just don't like it so <laughs> I've seen a lot of people talking about in the past, just even this past month, a few, quite a few people um, on Facebook, I know, talking about uh, publishing on <clears throat> publishing on Amazon, uh, trying to go through the traditional route of a publishing house, um, all of these other things that I've not, I'm not really familiar with. We can do like chapter books or just little segments, which is kind of almost what I do, at least through the A to Z. And what I was doing in 2012 when I was doing my fiction, it was kind of like just like, like here's a chapter, here's a part, okay, well, here's another part, you know. And uh, so it sounds similar to that, like chapter books or something. I, I don't know all the names of them, but people have brought up like four or five different sites where you can do that. I don't know if you can get paid, but you can at least build up an audience, which may go a long way into um, building an audience for if you do self-publish. And self-publish sounds like the way that I will probably attempt to go just so I can, as long as it's like, as long as Amazon, and I thought I read that you could like, retain rights to characters and all the content and stuff uh, they just obviously take a chunk of, of the proceeds of sales so which is to be expected but you could potentially make a lot more it seems like with going that route um but also you have to do all your marketing you have to you have to basically do it all that on your own which is where a traditional publish house publishing house would I mean, they've got people that do that, and editing, editing, uh, marketing, all that. You know, they you're kind of paying for that, and you're taking a lot less uh, proceeds and royalties from your work, but they're doing the bulk of the work of fine tuning everything. As long, but then there's the what, how are they editing? What do they want to change? What are they going to change? You know, but aside from that, it's just the fact that there's people who will like edit. Like I'll read through some of my stuff multiple times, and I will still find errors like. Weeks later, after I had it posted for weeks, and then I get it all like, <laughs> like, so I'm going on there and editing. Not that I have a whole lot of people anyway that read it, so I guess it's whatever. But it still is like it gets to me. So it's something that I don't even know if I could, if I would be able to do self-publish if I could just, if I could even edit it myself. So yeah, but who knows? So yeah. Uh, there's just been a lot of talk about that. It's been really interesting. I think people said like if you did the traditional publishing that you could potentially like you have to meet some kind of a threshold and if you don't you have to pay. Like if it just doesn't sell you're going to be footing the bill for that and then you're not really getting anywhere and I don't know if that's true or not but that sounds kind of scary but yeah. So self-publishing is probably the route I'll go. I have plans to make uh probably just some shorter work and see just how it does kind of like test the waters I, I guess I still want to look into if you still can retain and you maintain all the rights to your content because that would be a, a huge thing which I'd imagine is the case and I know somebody who has published through there and I know you can rather than just digital you can also have like soft cover maybe even hard cover I don't know um, so if people want to option to buy those that's always awesome so um, again you just have to market yourself so those are some of the thoughts I've had on this and yeah I mean <laughs> I'm unpublished I don't I it, I just I don't know I I hate that fact I don't even know if I myself would feel like if I did publish something through like Amazon, if I'd feel I'd publish, I think I kind of detach from thinking that I have to go through the traditional publishing route um, to feel published. But I think if I did do it self-published, that it would have to actually be something that actually like took off and like um, like was able to get sales and build a community and, and all that stuff. Something that was would be kind of 
seen as successful and then i guess i would think okay i'm published even if it's self-publishing i know publishing is in the self-publishing but it's just a mental kind of a, a criteria uh self-criticism thing but um so yeah um i guess i'm curious are you currently published or are you unpublished and you wish to be um do you have any knowledge about um what the best route to go in terms of publishing if if just the traditional route or more the uh, self-publishing route and if so is self-publishing wise anyway is it better to do Amazon or are there other options that might be more viable or is it, you know and like does it depend on what it is what you're writing and, and all that um, I know a lot of people originally kind of start and this is what I had planned to do I guess was like trying to do contests and I've submitted to a few contests with no luck unfortunately and um but I know a lot of people you know suggest doing contests um doing uh magazines and uh, sometimes compilation works and stuff some books um and uh yeah so if you have any um hints or or uh just knowledge to share on that front that would be great would what you would recommend um, and if you haven't published yet um, what do you what's what's stopping you t from doing so if you if you want to be a writer you want to write for a living or do that as a career or just for fun and what have you um, what are some of the roadblocks that you experience and uh, go through and and try to overcome on your journey to uh, getting published and um, and anything that you know about the process that you would like to share or talk about that would be great um, just in the comments below and uh, yeah that'd be awesome and if you are published what what kind of work do you do uh, you know you can leave some of the info and some of the you know links or descriptions or whatever for your work if you want to have it checked out I, I like checking out new stuff so um, yeah just uh, Start some dialogue below and discuss the uh, ins and outs of publishing and or the the roadblocks and um, kind of the process of being unpublished and wanting to become published. So, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll have links below for the website, the Facebook site, and where this post will appear on the iJack blog of the Crichton Chronicles. And if you want to read some of my fiction, uh, it's all in the Dreams of Shade of Ink. I have four blogs uh, on the site and on here I did read one or two of my pieces of fiction or poetry um, for the YouTube site. I haven't really fine-tuned that yet um, and what I'm going to do. But uh, otherwise, yeah, on the Crichton Chronicles, on the Dreams of Shade of Ink uh, will be the... Um, I'll leave a link below <clears throat> I guess to that too if you want to kind of look through some of my uh, earlier pieces and like I said <clears throat> right now during the A to Z I'm doing some flash fiction like I did last year so yeah check it out let me know what you think and um, that'd be awesome uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video give a thumbs up and if you want to follow more content uh, just subscribe and until next time take care